Ngayon ay magsasagot naman tayo ng mga examples ng uh, differentiation or derivatives using implicit differentiations ng uh, mga functions na gagawin natin today. We'll start with x plus y squared is equal to the cube root of xy. So, unang muna natin gagawin is to change our uh, radical function sa exponential kasi mas madaling magsagot kung nasa exponent na yung ating mga function. So, uh, first, we'll, we'll take the derivative of each term. So, yung ddx ng x ng y squared. So, yung ddx na yan, ibig sabihin yan, kukunin ka yung derivative ng first term, kukunin ka yung derivative ng second term in terms of x, at yung last term in terms of x para lang alam ko yung pagkakasunod-sunod at mas organize yung aking mga solutions. So, yung una, wala tayong problema kasi parehas lang sila ng variable. So, yung derivative ng x in terms of x is simply 1. Pero yung pangalawa, kailangan yung tandaan na kapag nag-differentiate kayo ng uh, y squared in terms of x, it will be the same rule, power rule, which is 2y, pero idadagdag nyo yung dy dx kasi to denote na nag-differentiate uh, kayo ng uh, function of x or uh, function in terms of x. And yung pangalawa naman, gagamitan natin to ng chain rule. So, derivative muna nung um, xy raised to the 1 half which is simply 1 half xy I mean 1 third. I'm sorry. This is supposed to be 1 to the negative, so 1 third minus 1, or 3 over 3, is simply negative 2 all over 3, so this is negative 2 thirds. So yan yung derivative nung, uh, ch using chain rule, and uh, kukunin naman natin ngayon yung derivative nung inside, at gagamitan natin siya ng product rule. So ddx ng xy, at it, this time around, ito ay product rule. Right. So, simplifying our function, it will become 1 plus 2y dy dx. Uh, tandaan nyo, yung dy dx, parehas lang siya ng y prime. So, notation lang yan na kailangan yung um, maging familiar kasi usually, usually ginagamit din natin itong notation na to. So, we have 1 third xy negative 2 thirds times derivative nyan would be um, I usually take the derivative of the first term and copy the second term plus copy the first term and then the derivative ng y which is dy dx or 1 dy dx so now that we have completed our derivative, ang gagawin na lang natin ngayon is algebra work kasi kailangan natin i-isolate yung dy dx natin. So, una natin gagawin is to substitute or distribute itong terms na to dito sa dalawang terms na nasa loob of, and we'll end up with 1 plus 2y. Let's change it to y prime minus, so distribute natin to dito at dito. So, we'll end up with um, 1 over 3 third root of xy squared multiplied by y plus 1 over cube root of xy squared multiplied by x dy dx or y or y prime xy prime so by simplifying this further we'll end up with 1 plus 2y y prime equals y all over 3 third root of squared plus x y prime Now, itong dalawang to, since parehas silang y prime, will minus uh, 
this term on both sides and then yung 1 dun sa other side para magrupo natin siya at ma-isolate natin yung y prime sa ating equation. So, we'll end up with um, 2y y prime minus x y prime equal to y all over 3 minus 1. So, yung mga y primes natin nandito na sa kabilang side at yung mga walang y primes or dy dx nandito na sa kabilang side. So, all we need to do is to factor out the y prime para ma-isolate natin yung ating equation. So, we'll end up with 2y minus x over 3 minus 1. So, by doing so, all we need to do is now divide all this by 2y minus x all over 3y squared to find our y prime. So, medyo mahaba yung ating derivative, but yung y prime natin will simply be equal to this all over this. At ito na, ito na yung derivative natin nung uh, first example natin. Medyo mahaba pero minsan talagang mahaba yung solution natin. Minsan naman mabilis lang. So let's have the second example. Yung second example naman natin, we need to find the first derivative or yung derivative ng, ng trig function na ito. So kukunin natin yung derivative ng first term. nung second term at nung third third term so implicit differentiation nung first one so we have 2 times dy dx equal sa derivative ng x squared which is simply 2x plus derivative ng sine y so um kakaroon ulit ng y prime kasi in terms of y siya. So, ang derivative ng sine is cosine. So, we have cosine y times derivative ng y. So, ang derivative ng y is y prime because derivative of y is 1 at dy dx. So, mag so magkakaroon tayo ngayon ng 2 times y prime 2x plus cosine y, this one would be just dy dx or simply y prime. So, ang gagawin naman natin ngayon is igugroup uli natin yung mga y primes at yung on dy dx this, on this side of the equation at yung walang mga dy dx this on the other side. So, we'll end up with 2y prime minus cosine y y prime equal to 2x. So, by isolating y prime, by factoring, so we have 2 minus cosine y equals 2x. And then we'll divide both sides by 2 minus cosine y. Para ma-cancel siya. So, y prime is simply 2x. So, yung second example natin, medyo mabilis lang yung pagkuha kasi maliit lang at saka simple lang yung rules or derivative rules na kailangan natin to solve this equation. Now, susunod naman natin is meron tayong e to the u tapos my x and y. So, implicit differentiation ulit. So, by taking the derivative ng e to the x, y plus d dx minus d dx d dx ng 10. So, 
first yung derivative ng e to the u, which is e to the u du dx. So, kukopyahin natin si e to the xy multiplied by the derivative of your exponent, which is xy. And in this case, we'll use the product rule. Plus, derivative ng x squared, which is simply 2x. Minus, so since y siya, I'll just use 2y dy dx equal to derivative ng constant, which is 0. So, kailangan lang natin i-simplify yung derivative nung nito. So, magkakaroon tayo dito ng e to the xy times derivative ng xy, which is copy second plus derivative ng dy dx, which is 1 dy dx. And then, kopyahin na lang natin yung iba. 2x. So now we're simplifying this term. So we'll end up with e to the xy multiplied by y plus x dy dx plus 2x minus 2y dy dx equal to 0. And by distributing e to the xy sa ating um, term right here, we'll have y times e to the xy plus e to the xy times x dy dx plus 2x dy dx. So at this point, 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. Pwede natin silang paghiwahiwala yan kasi ito at saka ito parehas siyang dy dx or y prime at itong mga ito naman pwede natin siyang e transpose dun sa kabilang sino equation. So we are now going to end up with e xy times x dy dx minus 2y dy dx equal to uh, negative y e to the xy minus 2x. So, by simplifying this, kasi common term na nila si dy dx, so magkakaroon tayo ngayon ng x e to the xy minus 2y times dy dx equal to negative y e to the xy minus 2x. And by dividing both side by x e to the and then this one with x our dy dx simply negative y e to the xy minus 2x all over x e minus 2y. So, yan yung um, derivative nung ating uh, function na e to the xy plus x squared minus y squared. So, once again, kailangan lang ng patience sa pagsagot ng mga derivative kasi minsan talaga mahaba yung solutions.